What up, everybody? Welcome back to the 4% Entrepreneur Show. Great to be here with you guys. Hope everybody's doing fantastical today. My name is Vic Streisius, and I'm always pumped to be here with you guys, hanging out, talking about ideas, things, strategies, mindsets, right? Tactics, practices that will take your game to the next level. So we're going to continue with the... Um, a couple episodes ago, you know, we started... I started this series on... on uh, what do we talk about? Creating your money machine, right? Can everybody hear me okay? All right, Charity, good to see you. All right, Marlon, good to see you. Vic, last time was great. Now, what are we doing? Okay, so Martha Hill, are you referring to the Money Machine uh, series? Right? We're going we're gonna to continue. This is, uh, this is part two of three. There's three parts. Are we live or are we off? Hang on one sec, everybody. Might have a little bit of technical difficulties here. Let me make sure that we're loud and clear. Okay, we good? We good? Okay, wanna make sure that we're, I'm not just talking to the camera over here. Can't see ya, okay, let us uh, let me just wait. No, there's like a 20 second delay. Make sure that we're back. <clears throat> I see you now, okay, uh, all good now. Okay, great. Sweet, yeah, we wanna be good. <clears throat> okay, so so creating your money machine is a series, and we said there is three steps, right? Number one is, you know, we're talking about numbers. Okay, so your, right, what's your burn rate? Okay, um, number two is what? Is creating your solid income source, right? Is to engineer a solid income source. So uh, we might actually say solid income source, okay? Solid income source, okay? And then number three is asset allocation, okay? Now, um, so if you missed it, um, there is a, uh, we had an episode on that, you can search for it, um, you know, if you guys are coming back, if you did not watch that first part, this part might not make a whole lot of sense, um, but I'll try to keep it, you know, as, uh, as easy, you know, to understand as, as, as we possibly can. This is going to be the big one right here, okay, so everybody, when we're talking about money, <clears throat> okay, everybody immediately, they go to, they go to, uh, how do I just make more money, okay, more money, uh, everybody wants to know how to do that, but if we are to create our, our, our money machine, which ultimately leads to, to, to financial freedom, okay, that's really what we want to we wanna get to so that this money machine becomes a, a, a source of income or it becomes that, that stream of, of revenue coming in that will cover uh, all of our necessities, all of our lifestyle, all of our you know, crazy ideas about things that you want to do, travel, eat, you know, hang out, dress, however you want to live, okay, your life that give you ultimate financial freedom. Whether you work or not, I want that, I want to have enough money coming in so that all of that would be covered, right? So <clears throat> everybody starts out, you know, we have a certain situation that all of us entrepreneurs start out and so we're like, all right, this is my current situation. Uh, but then there is this this big aspiration situation, right? And the difference, you guys, between a goal and a dream, can anybody tell me what the difference is? What's the difference between a goal and a dream? Anybody know? What is the difference financial freedom, living in lifestyle? Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between a goal and a dream? Okay. The difference between a goal and a dream is this. Is finish line okay your dream there is no finish line for your dream your dream is always evolving your dream is always out there right it always gets bigger it's always out there uh, your goal however has a finish line okay so a lot of a lot of you know a lot of entrepreneurs you know they're they're chasing after something but if there is no finish line if there is no concrete okay here is what it's gonna look like when I get there th th you, you don't have a goal if you don't have a goal you will never ever ever live your dream ever Okay, a goal is written down, that's, that's important, right? Goal is written down. Dream can be written down, and I, and I suggest your dream should be written down as well, but it's going to continue to evolve, it's going to continue to expand, right? 
but the biggest difference is this right here, okay? So <coughs> if we are to, you know, if we're chasing this, this, this something that's out there, this right here, okay, what is that financial freedom looking like for you? And let's consolidate it down, let's boil it down to, <coughs> uh, to a point to where you have a concrete path, right, that would give you those goals, immediate goals, those finish lines, Right? And as you achieve those finish lines, you go from one to another, to another, to another. Ultimately, you get to the point to where, you know what, your, your money machine gives you enough freedom, okay? your goal then changes or your, your, uh, your dream changes. Right? Your dream right now for a lot of people might be like, dude, how do I just become financially free? And really, what's that, what's that price? I did that on purpose. What's that price tag for your financial freedom? You know? Like, what is, it gonna, what is it gonna cost? What is it costing me? What's my burn rate <coughs> currently to live? Okay, to, to run my business, to run my company. So I have a set dollar amount for my current burn rate. But, but I also need to have uh, my burn rate. I gotta know what that's, look, uh, what that's gonna look like for my financial freedom. Okay, ultimately my ideal lifestyle, that's what I'm chasing after, does that make sense, right? So a little bit of a recap here. Um, and, uh, and that's what I wanna talk to you about today. I'm gonna give you guys a worksheet that might be helpful for you, right? You know, if you choose to, to work with it, uh, really, really simple concept. We're not gonna go super, you know, scientific on this, uh, on this idea. It's actually really, really co simple concept. It's not complicated. Anybody can, anybody can be here. You know, I can tell you from my personal experience, I learned a lot of these lessons from my, on my personal life. You know, I wasn't born successful. My parents were very middle class, right? Uh, and, and my upbringing, you know, very, very middle class. But I learned a lot of things along the way over the last you know, 14 years, 15 years of, um, of just doing this kind of stuff you know, solo, myself. Um, starting out young and still learning every day. You know, I made a lot of mistakes um, and I teach you from a lot of my mistakes that I, that I, that I, that I, that I did, right? That I had to correct, course correct. And, and I'm like, hey dude, there's a pothole, don't go there, right? You might wanna avoid, take this direction instead of taking that direction because I've been there. Uh, I've, I, you know, I've done a lot of things right. And, um, you know, not because I'm s super smart or whatever, but because I was smart enough to listen to people who were smarter than me, right? Uh, and, um, you know, and that's marketing. And, and, and again, you, when you get into the money, what do you do with that money? How do you manage that money and all that stuff? So these are the concepts and ideas I'm, you know, uh, getting, trying to get across to you. You do whatever you want with them, right? If it helps you, awesome. You know, if you like this kind of stuff, <coughs> I would appreciate if you, uh, you know, help us spread this message. You know, our vision here, our goal with 4% is to build an entrepreneur's community to where everybody wins, everybody benefits, everybody uh, contributes towards everybody else's success, you know? And um, one day, I am hoping that you can be part of what we're doing here as far as content-wise and start teaching from your experience and start to make your own difference. Because you're gonna go from being wherever you are right now, okay, this little box, okay, that, that you live in right now, whatever that burn rate for you is, your current expenses, right? And, 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 then, and then we're gonna, together, we're gonna work towards building that. And so today, we're gonna start talking about what, what the number, what's the price tag on your, on your financial freedom, on your ultimate lifestyle? What is that price tag will look like, okay? Where you have, <clears throat> you know, you have no limitation. You literally have no limits. If you can dream it, you're gonna put it on paper, right? We're gonna do a little exercise together. But we, never, we will never get there if we, don't un, if we don't know where we are now, and then if we don't understand what's the path, dude, how do you go, okay? What, is, what are the milestones for you to get there? You will never get there if you don't know what, where that or what there is, what it looks like. W again, what's the price tag on that? Does that make sense, right? And so the way we're gonna get there is we're gonna focus on creating this finish line Okay, we're gonna set specific goals and we're gonna backtrack from those goals. We're gonna create and go into this. <clears throat> okay, th this is the importance of, of numbers. Okay, again, before we get here, before we start you know, doing all these income streams that is you know, the sexy topic, right? Everybody wants to talk about that. Money, money, money. Dude, if, we don't, if you don't know this, this is useless. Okay, this is useless. I, I, you know, every, every one of us know people that if they make a thousand a month, they're broke, or if they make a hundred thousand a month, they're broke, okay? We all know those people. So it's not about income, it's about creating something that's beyond income. And then ultimately, <clears throat> once your money is handled, you have this, you know, handled, 
we really want to get into the asset allocation and this is where you truly become financial i mean this is where you don't have to, like you don't have to work right <coughs> you want your money to, to generate more money and this is where you get into investments diverse di you know you know portfolio di di diversification allocation all, all you know and may, may basically have your money working for you and generating your more money uh, whether you work or not and that's a different topic for different you know different um day for different story okay so today here is what we're going to look at okay in the next episode i'll give you a little heads up we're going to dive into specific this is going to be a big one right here we're going to talk about income streams okay but this is what we're going to break down ba uh, and kind of backtrace backtrace from the number that we're going to come up with here today okay with you so i'm going to give you you know a little bit of a direction in that area again stuff that helped me and then you do what you, you what you wish with it you know hopefully it helps you as well and we can all move together okay by the way all this kind of stuff you know um i teach in um if you guys are you know part of the four percent we have this this program called the four percent success challenge a lot of this stuff will be uh you know we're diving into the detail and going through it in, in great detail uh, if you're going through that stuff this is going to be a really really good kind of head start for you as well okay um so the idea is this okay write this down K Y N, okay. Know your number. Know your number. I'll never have a finish line. What, this is my finish line right here. My finish line is my number. Okay, I gotta know my number, and I don't care about this. You you want to know what this number is, but this, you know, this is, there is no inspiration there, right? There is no creativity. There is no. You don't wake up in the morning being fired up about doing this. Your current burn rate, right? Your current. All right. And this is your financial freedom, estimated burn rate, okay? How much it's gonna cost you per month to, 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 to live in both of those areas. This is what's gonna get you up from, in the bed, you know, from bed in the morning being fired up. This right here, it's a drag, man, right? You're like, oh, dude, I gotta, it's a grind. It's not, it's not very, um, you're, you're really not looking forward every single day to this. The reason that you work today is because of this so that you can get there, okay? Um, so I wanna know my number as it relates to this, okay? Very, very clear, okay? As it relates to that. So let's have some fun here um, in, in this particular episode, okay? Um, there is a couple different ways that we can go. How many of you guys have been through the, the Wealth Building Blueprint? Yeah, Wealth Building Blueprint uh, in 4%. How many of you guys have been through that? training let me know real quick here let me take a look at your comments uh, it's a free uh, it's a free course that I have created just as a you know just kind of talking about some stuff that I imp implement in my you know in my life in my business uh, that really helped me with like managing you know finance uh, finances allocation and all that stuff okay a lot of you guys have if you have not checked out um, wealth building blueprint you can you can enroll in it for free just go to four percent.com go to programs and click on and enroll in uh, wealth building blueprint it's a free program right now I'm not sure how long we're gonna keep it for free but it, it you know it's gonna put you in a, in a, in a very nice uh, you know on a very nice path okay so one way to do your numbers and this is where most people get it wrong right when we're talking about numbers is that they think well if I am <clears throat> you know, if I'm earning, uh, if I'm earning five thousand dollars a month, if this is my 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 number here, <clears throat> what most people are, are where most people find themselves is that, you know, if, if they have this money coming in, in their bank account, they're not operating out of uh, like an LLC or an entity. So this goes into their personal slash business account, and everything is commingled together and. They're like, all right, I've got to split this between my business, between my car payment, between my house payment, between my clothes, uh, you know, uh, my shopping, between my restaurants, between my entertainment and everything else in between, my kiddos and everything else in between. And so before they know it, right, at the end of the month, they have spent 5500 okay, 5500 you know, is gone. And by the way, 500 of that was put on a credit card. And there is no money for taxes. There is no money for advertisement for business. And, and they're like, dude, where did the money go? Right. So people are clueless. So that's why um, that's why I have recorded the wealth building blueprint. And 
and, and, and kind of tell, you know, talk to you about my concept, which is TWCGO, right? TWCGO. A very quick recap for those of you guys who don't know what that means. Here is how I have it set up very simply. This is one way of doing it, right? Which is this. If you have whatever money that you have coming in right now, okay? If you have $5,000 a month coming in, I'm going to allocate. This is my receiving account. So in my bank, I'm going to have six accounts. I'm going to have my receiving account. This is where all of my money will go into. All the commissions, all the um, all the payments, all the, this is the, 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 the incoming account. There is no expenses from that account at all, right? My receiving account, this is my tax account. I'm going to allocate 30%, okay? I'm going to allocate 30%, which, which, which is what, 1500 bucks about? I'm double check myself on camera, right? Okay, 1500 bucks. I was right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put 30% here, okay? So 1500. I'm down to 3,500 bucks. Okay, now I'm gonna dedicate. I'm gonna allocate at the very least, bar bare minimum. I'm gonna allocate 10% here because that's my wealth account. That's my saving. That's that's what I'm building towards. If eventually, okay, as as you guys are gonna, you know, you go on this journey with me, this account right here, my wealth account. Later on, this will be my money making more money account. Okay, initially it might be a little tiny tiny little drip in there, right? But then I want to create a big river in that account. And the way I'm going to do that is going to be very strategic. So I'm going to allocate in the beginning at least 10% minimum. You got to pay yourself, right? You're going to pay Uncle Sam 30% or 40%, whatever that, that, that case is. I think in, in that um, wealth building blueprint, I, th I think I say it's 40% there. Um, <coughs> but, you know, whatever, whatever you live, okay, whatever your number is. Um, so, you know, we've got 500 here, okay? You got your charity account, always, always, always dedicate and give away 10%. Whether you believe in, in, in tithing or not, has, has, it's just a universal law that I can tell you that just works, okay? You're gonna give away 500. If you cannot live on 4,500, you will be struggling on 5,000 anyways, right? So just, just, just do it, all right? My, gen my general, this is my, this is my household account, okay? So here you can allocate, you know, say approximately 20%. So that would be a um, thousand bucks, okay? And then so we've got 20, 30, 40. We've got 70 and then maybe you got 30% going for your operations. This is your business, okay? So that's another 1,500 bucks. So <clears throat> if you do this model right here, what do you really have, okay? What do you really have? Well, you only got a thousand bucks a month to live on because that's your general account. You only got a thousand bucks a month to live on. So really what you need to do is you need to increase this. Now what I want to talk to you about today, okay, see what I'm saying? So, so if you follow this model, most people are like, all right, dude, I, can, I cannot live on a thousand bucks a month. Yeah, no kidding, dude, all right, no kidding, that's, that's not a lot of money. So what we need to figure out is we need to figure out how do you feed all these areas and the only way that you're going to feed all those areas is that you create a money machine, you create a marketing machine, a situation to where your top line right here, you don't worry about it, your bottom line. You want to make sure that your top line, this account R, has enough money coming in to support all of these other ones, okay? The most important one of these for, uh, for most people, at least in the beginning, okay, it will be this account right here, which is this category, this general or your personal, okay, whatever, however you can call it. You can massage it to your liking, but this system will change your life. It changed my life, okay, when I started implementing and using this. Um, so if, if you need to live, but here's the thing, um, this is what, we, what we're going to find out today, okay? That's what, what I really want to do today is instead of guessing, okay? So my ideal life, okay, my ideal life, okay, that's it right there. My ideal life, that's really what I'm going for my ideal lifestyle, what is the price tag, okay? What is the price tag on that ideal lifestyle? When I'm, deal when I'm talking about this right here, I'm really talking about this category, you guys, okay? This, this general or personal, so this. Now, if, if you're currently earning 5,000 a month, okay, uh, right now, uh, you know, will you ever have or live your dream lifestyle on whatever that number of yours is? 
Okay, so if this is a thousand bucks a month for me, no way in the world. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be poor, right? Living in the United States, because all these other stuff has to be taken care of as well. Okay, if I don't pay my taxes, I'm gonna be in trouble. If I don't invest in my business, I'm gonna be in trouble because I'm gonna go backwards. Entrepreneurs, we need that's your seed money, like a farmer, right? He doesn't take every single um, seed that, or you know, he he doesn't keep 100% of the crop. He allocates a little bit for for the seed. This is your seed money for your business. This is your advertisement money, okay? This is your, <laughs> your, your charity account is your prosperity investment, okay? I, I don't care if you believe it or not, it, but it is true. I, you know, I don't care if you believe in, in the law of gravity. If a, if a little baby jumps off of the, of the big building, it's gonna fall down. Just like if I throw this down, it comes down. I don't have to believe it. I just do it, it just works, right? Same thing there. I can tell you that from personal experience, so I, I gotta have that. My, I got I to gotta save, but I cannot dip into this because eventually I will never have my FF, which is my financial freedom. I'll never, ever, ever have that if I don't take care of this, okay? You see how all this kind, kind of stuff comes together, right? It, everything comes together. <clears throat> you'll never be financially free because you will never have your money working for you because you'll never have it. And if you, f if you don't follow something like this, you'll, you'll always grind, you'll always go back, you'll always be frustrated out of your mind. So, how do we figure this out, okay? How do we figure this out? Um, <clears throat> we need to get clear on what this number will be in my ideal life. And the only way I'm gonna do that, okay, the only way that I can do that, uh, Phil is saying 100,000 per month. If that's the number, hey, that's the number, right? So if Phyllis needs, you know, if you go to 100,000 per month there, or you're talking about 100,000 a month here, okay? So I wanna take this model, again, by the way, if, this is what I teach in great detail in each one of these categories in uh, Wealth Building Blueprint. If you guys are watching this after the fact or whatever, somehow you came across this, it's in 4%, it's a free course you can enroll in. I recorded it because I think it's gonna change a lot of entrepreneurs' lives. Um, tell me, uh, Okay, so, so when we're dealing with this, okay, I wanna have no limit. I really wanna have no limit. Because if, if we're gonna build something, okay, it takes the same amount of energy, the difference between making 1,000 bucks a month and making 100,000 bucks a month is strategy. It's not working harder. People work really, really hard working construction, right? Physical labor. My dad used to be a welder, you know, before he passed away. Um, a lot of people working really hard. Dude, people work, people work in, you know, fast food, places, they work really hard. Have you seen those kids working there? Dude, they like little machines over there, man. They're working hard, right? So it's not about working hard, it's about, it's about strategies. It's about how do you set yourself up so that if you're going to do the work anyways, and it's not gonna be walking the park you know, for the most part, and that's okay, because you're gonna go through short-term inconvenience to get to long-term comfort, right? That's kind of the game plan. So if I'm gonna do uh, that, I might as well position myself for maximum results, right? Maximum uh, income, and um, and I should have no limit on this. Okay, my goals. I might have to break my, <coughs> you know, if, if this is a timeline where I'm at right now, to get here, I want to have those goals. Okay, so I want to know where I'm going, and and these goals become, right? Goal here. So that's why, like in the in the four uh, percent. Um, challenge for affiliate marketers specifically. That's what. That's why we break it down, right? If you guys are um, watching this, you're about to go through that program, or if you're watching this later after the fact, you know, if the, you, you know, if, if you can get into that program, get into that because we want to go from like ten thousand to a hundred thousand to ultimately a million. And the, the money becomes just a scorecard. It's nothing but the scorecard because it gets you this. Okay, it like whatever that price tag of yours is. So you're gonna fall on, on that on that timeline somewhere, okay, money-wise. So we wanna keep score. <clears throat> um, but how do we do that is, it, we're gonna talk about on the next section. Today I wanna talk about getting clear on this number here as it relates to building your ideal lifestyle. Okay, so how many of you guys have thought about this from previous episodes? So we've got what? What are your, when it comes to lifestyle now, and I know we have like bills, and I'm, I'm gonna give you a worksheet that you guys can download. Um, El Medina welder for 42 years, yeah. So in a few minutes here, I'll actually give you guys a little link. Uh, it's a little Google document that, um, 
that, uh, that you can work off of, right? That's, that's like really, really, really detailed. Uh, but as far as like things that will really inspire you, okay, so let's start with that. What would be considered in your ideal life scenario or category that would really inspire you, right? What are some of the first things that's come to your mind? Just kind of give, uh, give me your feedback here real quick. Just talk to me. We don't have to share the screen yet. No, no, no screen sharing. I'm just looking at the comments. 10,000 a month. So I see you guys are in YouTube. Okay. So if you guys are in YouTube, um, I might jot, uh, take a look at your comments as well from time to time. Okay. Living at the beach, somebody says. Okay, Phil says, living at the beach. Um, yes, a worksheet will help. Okay, give me, give me some of the things that come to your mind, okay? Where you live, does that matter? Okay, so for you to have an ideal lifestyle, would you say a place that where you live, your, your zip code, would that matter? Would that play a role, yes? Okay, so that would be your what? Your mortgage, okay? Your mortgage payment, okay? What else? What else would be? Somebody says living at the beach, that would be what? Um, that would be travel, okay? Maybe travel, uh, and then maybe vacation. There's a difference between travel and vacation. I'll tell you that in a moment, okay? What else? Throw some ideas at me here. Personal plane and helicopter, okay. If, yeah, if, if that's your thing, okay? Nice car, okay? Of course, right? Younger guys, car, okay, a car, what else? Ernest says $9,999 a month to start, okay. Rick Franz says 100 k income a month is my first goal, 100000 a month, okay. Now let me, ask you, let me ask you guys this, okay, those of you guys who are giving me these like round numbers, have you thought how did you come up with that number? Okay, is there, is there a, um, what's, what's, what stands behind that number? Why is it 100,000 and not 116,000? Or maybe it's 92,000. You see what I'm saying? Here's what I found. Your subconscious mind will, will run how, like it will determine how you feel, how you act. If there isn't, if you just say, okay, right, well, this thing is going to be 100000 for me, okay? Okay, $100,000. That's a million. All right, if you say, okay, I need 100000 okay, 100000 a month. Unless you know exactly, unless you know exactly, okay, and you have that calculated down to the, down to the, the, the very detail where you can look at the breakdown, and that breakdown will be congruent with that number. If this is just a number you pull out of your head, right, or out of, out of the thin air, and you're like, dude, that would be nice. Trust me, you will have no motivation. You, you might be motivated for about a week or two, maybe a month or two, right? And then there's gonna be no motivation because your, your subconscious mind, your conscious mind cannot con make a connection, okay? If, it, if, it's just a, if it's just a random number that you think might be a good idea, if it's just a good idea thing for you, it's not a it's not a goal, it's a what? It's a dream. Right? It's a dream. Make sense? Um, apartment food fund. But here's here's the biggest thing I can tell you guys. When you do this exercise, and especially when you do the, the worksheet I'm gonna give you, it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to really like, you know, go into a quiet spot with yourself or maybe, you know, with uh, people that you care about and um, and do this really put your, you know, really put yourself into it because you're really building yourself, you're creating, right, your future, okay? So you, the, the more details, if you're building a house, the more details you put into that, the more beautiful it's gonna be. If you're like, well, I don't, whatever, just throw this in there, just throw this in there. If there's no attention to details, it's gonna be garbage, okay? To my, uh, okay. Spend more time with my family, a new car, treating family to holidays, daycare, okay, so daycare. Okay, daycare, um, going out, uh, or maybe eating out. 
okay? What else would be a good category that would, uh, that would be a lifestyle? Okay, so eating out, um, that's like restaurants maybe getting, getting out, organic food, so that would be like food, right? If you can buy, um, you know, if you can buy uh, uh, more organic stuff and pay a little bit more to eat the good stuff instead of the poison, why wouldn't you, right? That's a good idea. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, Phyllis, Phyllis likes to go to, to lots of spas, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Live healthy, okay? Investment properties. Paul, Paul Dixon, investment properties. Well, investment properties, you're really talking about this category here. Your investment will come from this, okay? This is your wealth building. So, so what I need to identify is I need to identify my lifestyle, which is going to be this category as it relates to this model, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this model and then we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna apply that number, whatever we're gonna come up with, with here, we're gonna apply it here, insert it, and then run the formula so that all these other numbers will be reflected and then you will know exactly what you need to be focusing on to sustain your ideal lifestyle, okay? This number here, but you also wanna make sure that as stemming from that number, you have proportionally, right, you have all these other categories being handled without you even thinking about it, okay? This is, this is how you live, this is how you feel. But ultimately, that investment property, uh, who was that, Ernest? Okay, investment property, or Paul, investment property will come from here. But if you don't have enough money here, you cannot invest, okay? If you, a lot of people like, well, cryptocurrency is the way to go. Let's just sell our houses and go all the way into cryptocurrency. Dude, you ain't got no money to invest if you don't got no money to invest, right? You gotta make money first, and then you gotta be smart with your money to grow your money. That's the only way you do it, okay? Okay, so, so, so let's, just, let's just keep it here for now, okay? Now, take a look at this. Let's break this down to approximately, and again, there's a lot more categories. I'll, I'll give you this worksheet. You guys will, will, will be able to go through this exercise yourself, okay? Am I in the frame or not? Okay, yes, I am. Okay, so here's what I wanna do, okay? I wanna take the, these categories, and I'm like, all right, so mortgage, okay? Where do you wanna live? Where do I wanna live, okay? I'm not a super, like, honestly, guys, for me, I mean, everybody's gonna be different. I'm not super crazy materialistic type of guy, right? I, I, it's cool, I, I would rather, you know, but everybody's gonna be different. So whatever your ideal lifestyle or ideal life looks like, let's put a price tag on it as it relates to these categories now, right? These are basic stuff. Obviously, I know there's insurance, there's medical, there's all these other things that we did not include, they will be included in the worksheet that I will give you. Um, it will be super detailed. But these are the bigger ones, right? So I can tell you this. Um, if you, um, what you, what you can do is you can go to, well, let's just do it together, right? So um, give me an idea of a, of a mortgage number. Let's go ahead and share the screen here real quick, okay? This is the most important one, Ernest. Yes, uh, self freedom and important in, in wisdom spent Okay, spend some, save some, okay, good. Okay, so check it out, okay. I'm gonna go to Google, all right, my buddy Google, and I'm gonna say, you know what? Mortgage, let's go mortgage loan calculator. And, um, okay, somebody give me a number on your mortgage. I can tell you this, okay. Let's just keep it kind of a, let's just keep it pretty generic. Let's just say a million dollar. Okay, that's gonna be a base point from you. So for, for, for a million dollar loan, okay, if you're gonna go for 30 years, and this is approximate, depending where you live at and your credit and all that good stuff, you know, interest rate, but this, is, this, this will give you a good indicator, a good idea, right? So for every $1 million in mortgage that you take out, that's gonna be approximately, okay, your monthly payment will be approximately uh, 4,700 bucks. So what I'm gonna say, okay, and come back to me here. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm going to do 5,000 bucks, okay, approximately. I mean, depending on the country you live in, if you live in a, in a different country or whatever, your number would be different, right? But again, what I want to go for here, you guys, is do not limit yourself. And I know that there's another extreme to where you can be like, dude, I want to live in a $100 million mansion. And unless you really, 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 really uh, um, would love to live there, the, the biggest thing here is connection. Your subconscious, your conscious needs to... It, it has to be emotional goal for you. It cannot just be, 
well, let me just come up with something because I think it's cool, but there is no emotional connection. Does that make sense? This is the most important part here, you guys. Because whatever we're gonna do for the rest of this project, okay, everything we do in the 4% success challenge and, and everything that I'm gonna teach you about marketing and money and er everything that that's, you know, surrounds that, it has to stem from emotional connection to the goal. If you have no emotional connection to the goal, your goal, be you, will, you will give up on that unless there is a strong emotional connection, okay? So that's why I'm saying, like, if you truly, uh, if your dream would be to live in a $300,000 home or a $500,000 home, whatever that thing is, and you're like, dude, this fires me up, that's, what I'm, that's my dream, ideally, if I could have no limits, if money was not an issue, that's where I would live, right? Then that's your, that's your thing, that, that's your number. Okay, if you are like, dude, I wanna live in a $10 million home, I'm not satisfied until I'm there, and there is a strong emotional connection there, then that's your number, okay? So, so base your numbers based on that. Just for this example purpose, I'm gonna say, you know what, let's do, um, you know, it'll be 5,000 bucks, 5K a month, okay? Um, in my mortgage, which is what? About uh, 60,000, what is it? Five times 12, is, I think it's 60, right? <clears throat> 65, hang on. Okay, 60,000, make sure I don't make any mistakes here, a year, okay? So $60,000 a year in my mortgage. Okay, travel, I can tell you this, okay? How do you wanna travel? I'll tell you, if you travel coach, that's not your ideal life. You don't wanna travel coach, ideally, right? Ideally, you wanna travel, at, at the minimum, you wanna travel first class. First class, business class, idea, a minimum, bare minimum, right? Anybody agree? Anybody disagree? Okay. Uh, be able to elevate others without compromising myself. Ask you more and more money so you can scale. Okay, we'll talk about it, right? Private plane, okay? Tra private, private travel. Again, connection, okay? If you care about private, uh, you know, aviation, if that's your thing, if that's your standard, then that's your thing. If your thing is, dude, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly commercial, but I'm gonna go, I wanna fly, you know, first class all the way, right? Let's say 1,500 bucks a ticket on average, right? Depending, you know, here in the States at least, you know, pretty much anywhere you go, on average, probably about 1,500 bucks, but that's your thing, dude, like, right? Then that's your thing. Then, then the question is, okay, for travel, like how much, you know, how much do I travel approximately? So you do the math on it. So if you, pl you know, if you, if you fly um, uh, first class, it'll be 1500 bucks a ticket. Um, you know, if you fly once every, I don't know, once every two months or something like that, right? You know, maybe you do six trips times six, that's 9,000 a year just on airline tickets, right? Give or take say 10 grand on, on airline tickets a year, depending on how, you know, how often you travel and whatnot, right? If you go to events, but again, massage it to you, right? If you travel uh, uh, private, okay, it's awesome. But um, I can tell you that, again, th the emotional connection, okay? Is there, is there emotional connection or not? Tra uh, traveling private, pr uh, uh, private aviation, it'll cost you between 8,000 to 12,000 for one hour of, of flight, okay? Eight to $12,000 for every one hour uh, of flight time, okay? So you do the math on that, okay? If that's your thing, then that's your thing. So for, uh, to keep it simple here, we'll just say, you know, 10K a year on that. Vacation, you know, do you wanna go to vacation? You wanna stay at Super 8? Do you wanna stay at somewhere luxury? You wanna, you know, you wanna uh, rent out a nice house? Um, you know, you take your family on vacation. How much, uh, how many times a, a year do you wanna go on vacation? Once every three months, once every, you know, six months or something like that, whatever that, that, that number might be, you know, what you, what's, your, what's your number there might be, right? Well, you can say, you know, um, I go to vacation, maybe one vacation on, you know, ideal life here, just kind of throwing some numbers. What, what would you say? 50,000, 100,000, right? Let's, let's, put, let's put 100K, okay? 100K a year right there. Okay, now a car, now we can debate here, we can say, dude, do you wanna, do you wanna buy a car, do you wanna lease a car, okay? If you always wanna you know, be in a, in a nice car, if you always wanna be um, uh, you know, driving a new car all the time, leasing is the way to go, right? Don't buy it unless you really wanna buy it and just use the thing for, you know, you're gonna lose more money on buying a car and then reselling it than, than leasing it, especially with the, 
you know, on a newer, uh, on brand new cars, and especially, you know, if you really want to go with the, those high-end cars, leasing would probably be the way to go, okay? So what would you allocate towards lease, you know, on a monthly? Um, do that math on it. I can tell you this, you can lease a, a pretty nice vehicle, um, what would you say, 3K, 3K, 4K, right? 4K a month. All right, so you're looking at 48,000 there, approximately. Okay, 48,000 there. Daycare, we don't do daycare, so I really have no idea how much daycare runs. Anybody can tell me the number on daycare? Hey, you can get it paid, by, paid through ClickFunnels. That's right, Nigel, right? So that's why you want to have a money machine, your marketing, which we're going to talk about next uh, in the next episode. When we're talking about for you getting the money, this right here, it's going to be a big number, but if you're smart, you're going to include multiple streams of income so that you, you, you're diversifying your efforts, okay? You can, rent, you, can, you can lease a Ferrari for about 3 k a month. Uh, maybe not. Maybe a little more than that. But it depends, okay? So uh, daycare. Anybody can give me a number of day on daycare? I have no idea. We, we don't have daycare for our kids. My, my wife is a stay-at-home, so um, let's see. Eating out, okay? You guys going out to restaurants? Okay, let's say, you know, how many times? Let's say you want to go out three times a week, right? Three times a week times um, uh, uh, four weeks times, uh, that's 12 times a month, you know, and every time you go out to eat, it'll be, you know, depending on how big the family is, depending on what you eat. Let's say it's 200 bucks, right? 200, that's 2,400 bucks a month. Again, we're going pretty lavish here, right? 2,400 times 12, that's 28,000 bucks just on food. Right, 28k. All right, and then and then for food, this is your groceries and stuff like that. You know, I don't even do that. I don't know my my wife shops. I don't even know how much things cost, how much the blueberries are and and things like that. You know, so you do the you do the the thing on it, right? So what is it gonna cost you to feed yourself organically? You know, buy yourself nice stuff that's not processed or. You know, or maybe, maybe even have a chef in the house. Who knows, right? I mean, wh whatever your thing is, again, emotional connection. Where, what, where would give you the most emotional connect? Where would, where would you connect emotionally with the most, right? What level, okay? So you want to do that. I honestly don't even know how much we spend on food, honestly, <laughs> a, a, a month. No idea. Somebody give me the number here. Somebody give me, like, approximate number. Daycare. Um, 800 to 1500 is that a month Houston is that a month or a week Houston saying daycare 800 to 1500 bucks and I guess it depends how many kids you got right we've got like six uh, hiring chef is lazy life a <laughs> thousand bucks a month okay so a daycare is that a, is that a thousand bucks a month for daycare or food thousand bucks a month for food sounds way too low man uh, that to me sounds way too low. Yes, a month. Okay, so let's say daycare, 1500 bucks a, a month. Okay, so let's see what that number is going to be. 1500 times 12, 18,000 a year, right? 18K a year, okay? And then food. What do we got for food here? Okay, 200 bucks a month, food 200. 200 bucks a month for food. Uh, I guess if you're single, maybe, right? Let's say, um, I don't know. Do you, how much do you guys spend on food per month? I don't even know, dude. I, I don't. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, 1,000, uh, 200 bucks, 300, say 1,000 bucks a month for food. That's 12K. 12k. Let's say, let's say, let's say we put 20k for food, right? I, I mean, I, you guys want to eat like caviar and stuff like that. 20k. Okay. Tw let's just let's just throw that number in there. Okay. So now, here's what I do. Okay. On a, this is a, a macro level. This is not a micro level. This is a, a very macro, right? For now. So we've got what 60 plus 60, 70, 170. Okay. <clears throat> so 18. 28 plus 20. Okay, so we are at 284,000 in this example a year. Okay, 284,000 divided by 12. Okay, 
284,000 divided by 12, 23,666, okay? 23,666 and 66, okay? We'll just say 667, okay? 23,667 $23, dollars a month, okay? Now, check it out. Does this, like, you know, if you had this, if you had this coming in to just, you know, just for your, for your life, for, to, to give you the ultimate um, lifestyle, right? And again, it, it's missing some, 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 some other stuff like medical insurance and what, whatnot, right? But what kind of life would you have, right, with that monthly, okay? So if this is my number for my ideal life, if this would, would give me, you know, no limit living, like I do, I get what I want, I go where I want, I, I live like a, like a rock star, I love it, right? How many of you guys would literally like do anything in your power if you, if you are very, very clear, not on the, like this is just a, a, a price tag, but really what we're talking about here is this, okay? So now what we do is we take this, okay? and you turn it into this, okay? Anybody know what I'm talking about here? I'm trying to visualize my life being this expensive, okay? Rick Front, a lot of people would be in your shoes, man, okay? A lot of people would be in your shoes. You know, why you, tr you know why it's difficult for a lot of people? It's because they never took the time to really let themselves, you know, take off that limiter, that governor, and be like, dude, if I could have, be, if money was not an issue, you know, if, 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 if there were no glass ceiling above me, how would I live? How would I want to live? You know, and again, <clears throat> there's two ways to do it. There's one extreme to where you're like, dude, I'm just going to go Floyd Mayweather lifestyle, right? Which very few people can relate to that, <laughs> right? You know, may, maybe you don't need a new pair of shoes every single day. Um, who knows? But maybe you do. Again, emotional connection, okay? Emotional connection. So whatever that number is, then you take that, not this, this is nothing, this is just a number. You take this, you know, you guys hear about people talking about, you know, in personal development world, vision boards and, you know, and, um, and, 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 and you know, goal cards and, and all that stuff, right? To where you can see, you can see the life because that's really your ideal life. That's really what you're after. You're not after money, money is nothing. We've got dollar bills today, tomorrow they might be a marrow or something else, might be crypto, might be gold, silver, back to that standard, who knows what's gonna happen, right? We don't know. However, your lifestyle is, what, is why you bust your butt every day working, right? It's because you wanna have what money can get you, okay? <clears throat> so what we do is we turn it into here and then this becomes your emotional driver, okay? Does that make sense so far, right? Again, um, <laughs> he throws money away. <laughs> Maybe you want to throw money away too, right? Uh, but this is the biggest challenge for most people, you guys, okay? People talking about, dude, I want to make more money, especially in our space, like affiliate marketing, and, you know, online marketing, and, you know, like our industries that we serve and we're part of. Just talking about money is very shallow. It means nothing. That's why people struggle because there is, no, there is nothing beyond that. See what I'm saying? It's like, I want more money. Well, you want more, you, five bucks, more money is more money for you. A hundred extra dollars is more money. How much more money? Okay, and then, and then the second thing is people are like, all right, I need a hundred thousand a month. Well, what does that really mean? And so your mind never connects to that, so that's why you never get it. Okay, so your, your, your subconscious needs to connect to that. And you only make a connection through being specific, but really this is your heart right here. Of, of your connection. This is where the, your center core of the connection right here, right? So whatever that's gonna look like for you. Totally makes sense, right? Okay, I still have my goal card with the all time. By the way, you guys are going through the 4% success challenge. This is a heavy, heavy, this is a centerpiece because everything else kind of revolves around that. So um, if you guys have never started the 4% challenge, definitely get into it. Um, if it's available, great. Get into it depending when you're watching this. Uh, for those of you guys that are watching this live, it's about to become available, right? You'll be able to print it, laminate it, create it, carry it with you. Bob Proctor taught me that a lot, right? Changed everything for me. I promise you, it'll change your life. Okay, so next, here's the big part, right? The big part now is we've got to take this number, okay? We've got to take this number, 
and apply that onto this model right here. Ha! How many, how many people are excited about that concept now, right? <clears throat> okay? This is, not, this, is your, this is your ideal life as it relates to your personal stuff. Just personal. We're not talking business. We're not talking about saving. We're not even talking about financial freedom yet. This is just ideal life. Financial freedom is where you have enough money coming in to sustain your lifestyle whether you work or not. So this number, next, my, my next thinking is going to be like this. How do I get this? How do I structure my business, my operations in a way where I'm getting this number every single month coming in, in this category, so that it pays for my ideal lifestyle right here, whether I work or not. That's the big one. Whether I work or not, okay? Chances are I'm gonna work because I love, if I love what I do, I will never stop doing that, okay? But if I don't work for the next three months, I wanna make sure that that is sustainable whether I am there or not. That's my friends, that is where we're at. Financial freedom is where you have this coming in on autopilot. This is where your money is making you enough of this, enough of money to, to sustain that so that you can take off forever, you can retire. You can literally retire and you can still sustain that without blinking. Okay? Yeah, Ernest, I know you were talking about fully made by the man. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay, so check it out. So, so then we play with our calculator, man, right? And again, a lot of people will be mind-blowing because I'm going to give you a warning, okay? For most people, this will be, this situation will give them like, this will be so out of context or so out of reach for them it, mentally that they would not, like they'll be, they, they immediately will, will like dismiss the idea. They'll be like, dude, I'll, I'll never get it. I'll ne it'll never be a, you know, available for me. I'll never have it. And you want to be very, very careful not to fall into that trap because it's a trap. Okay? Remember I told you that you know, I've been through, through, through a lot before myself. You know, there is a trap I'm going to tell you. One of the traps in life that you will put yourself into is, is, is giving up uh, or, or, or losing before you even start. Okay? You don't need to know how you will get there yet. That, that's not the point. The point is, is it needs to be inspiring for you. That's step number one, okay? Step number two is we're just being very analytical here, and we're talking about, okay, so let's take this number, and following this model, by the way, this is, you know, a, a wealth building blueprint inside of 4% free. I give you a, a module on each one of these things, and we'll go into greater details. That's about a three and a half hour course or something like that. You guys can enroll in it, you know, go to 4%.com if you, if you haven't been through it. Uh, but this is the model, again, it will change your life. You take this model, you take what I'm teaching you now and what we're doing in the 4% Success Challenge, dude, you guys will, you will change your life forever, forever, okay? Um, <coughs> this, will, this, is, uh, this will be eye-opening, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number, 23,667, okay, divided by 20%, 0 0.20. Now, for me to sustain my ideal in this situation, well, semi-ideal, I guess, because we're missing a little bit of a smaller categories, right? You know, insurance and smaller expenses. This is the big stuff. So $118,335, check it out, okay? Check it out, okay? So now we have a new, um, what do we say? 118,335. 118,335, okay? That is what I need to have coming in into my receiving account every single month, and it's actually not as bad as most people would think, okay? T, W, C, G, G, O, okay? Now, so if we take this same model, let's take a look at what we've got, okay? 118,335 times we gotta pay we gotta pay taxes. Okay, so every month we're gonna allocate thirty-five thousand five hundred dollars on taxes. Okay, Uncle Sam, every single month. Bam! Right? Ouch! That's a lot of money, man. But guess what? He's hungry, man. So we gotta feed him. One eighteen three thirty-five times um, ten percent. Okay, it's eleven. Eleven thousand eight thirty-three. Look, with this model, what I'm teaching you here, 
every single month, like clockwork, you will have 11,000 going to your savings account, to your wealth account. Guess what? By the end of the year, you will have $120,000, $130,000 sitting in that account, free and clear. It's your saved money. After, tax, after taxes are paid, everything is handled, right? How awesome is it? Okay? How many of you guys would realistically like to, to, to structure your life like that, right? Like, you just saved $130,000 in a single year living your ideal lifestyle. Isn't that awesome? Right? What else we've got? 118, 335 times, well, 10% here in your charity, you've given away, okay? This is monthly, by the way, right? A month. A month. Okay? So you're giving away $11,000 every single month. Let me ask you this. Do you think you would feel better about yourself if you would be in a position to give away $11,833 every single month to people that need it? Charities, church, loved ones, relatives, friends, people that need it, people that are in need, right? Okay? This, my friends, is where money will magnify who you already are. Okay? People that say, well, money is evil, money is bad. Dude, you, you're, you're just being ignorant. Money is neither good or bad. Okay? Being rich is evil. It's not good. You know, it's bad. Dude, is being poor better? All right, be, be poor then. If that's going to make you feel better, right? Money is just the biggest, it's the human biggest magnifying glass. That's what money is. So if you, if you, if you have structure, right? You're giving away over $130,000 in a year. You're doing good things in the world. That's good karma. Okay? Do you think you will have do you think you will have good things coming your way because you've contributed to the to the to the uh, universal laws of prosperity? Okay? You see what I'm saying? It would be awesome to have enough money, okay? Absolutely. Okay? The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Think about that, okay? So we got to, okay, we're going to talk more about that. All right, so what we got? We've got our G, okay, 20%, which we already calculated. That would be 23,667, right? Okay, you got that money. And then your operations, we've got 118, 335 um, times, what is it, 30%, it's 35,000. 35,500 for your business operations, okay? So look, what happens here is now you have a blueprint, okay? You, you know, if, if you're foggy on your current stuff, y you'll, you'll never, you'll always be foggy, right? So you gotta get clear on where you're going. This right here becomes a goal, okay? This is a goal that feeds into a dream. Make sense, right, so far? How's my, uh, how's my, uh, my YouTube friends are doing? Okay, you guys on YouTube watching this, is this making sense? For most people, they'll be like, dude, this is not for me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see myself, fine, fail, right? <laughs> I'm talking to a few of you. I'm talking to a few of you that really are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Okay, I'm talking to those people that are ready. When the student is ready, teacher appears. I don't want to claim myself to be the teacher, I want to be the messenger that will get you the message just in the right time for you to take your life to the next level, okay? <clears throat> okay? They don't teach you this in college, man. They never taught me this in school. I never, I never learned this working for somebody else at a job, okay? Make sense? Now, what I wanna do is this. I wanna go and expend this, okay? So, so then, next week, um, yeah, next episode of the 4% the Entrepreneur Show, what we're going to do, you guys, okay, is we're going to talk about our, our, our final component, or our next component, actually, which is this. How do I structure, how do I create, how do I establish, how do I engineer, okay, my income source, my solid income source, right? That's what we say. We want to create a solid income source, that would be, what do we say, you know, here, uh, you know, I keep notes from, from last time we talked about it. It's got to be fast money, residual, 
multiple streams of money, solid money, scalable money, enjoyable money, long-term money, okay? How do I create an income source that would have all of those components that every single month would get me that number, okay? And I, I'll tell you this, you gotta have systems working for you, okay? You gotta, you gotta, have, you gotta set yourself up smart, Okay, you gotta have leverage, you gotta have multiple streams of income, you gotta, you gotta have that be product-centric income so that you're not flying high today and then three months later if you're promoting opportunities and the opportunity gets shut down and then you're going from this down to zero, okay? And then what happens to your lifestyle? You're like, oh man, bankruptcy, I guess, right? You're out in the street. No, you wanna have stability. Make sense, right? You wanna have all that stuff. Uh, this is so clear. It is scary, Trin says, right? So, so, so then, we're gonna talk about how do you engineer that a month, okay, whatever that number is. By the way, that's where we have, you know, if you guys are uh, in 4%, you know, how many of you guys are, are not going through the 4% challenge or, or you are, uh, you're waiting for the 4% challenge to come in? Here's the concept. Zero, 10K, 100K, 1 million, okay? Just milestones. Very, very few people will get here. But if, 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 if that number will get you a comfortable lifestyle, you'll be somewhere in the middle, totally doable. Now, how do you do that if you don't have a product? That's why we created the 4% Success Challenge for affiliate marketing, product-centric, driven, right? Platform, multiple streams of income, tremendous leverage, Fast money, residual money, multiple streams of money, solid money, scalable money, enjoyable, and long-term money. Set up, okay? Really important, we're gonna talk about it. Um, but the thing is, is this, okay? I'm gonna give you guys, um, I'm gonna give you guys a, um, a little, uh, hang on, don't, don't um, well, actually, let's, let's show my screen. Let's go ahead and share the screen. Let me show you guys this right here. It's a very, very simple concept, okay? So <clears throat> what we've just been through is, uh, what we have just been through is, um, is like a macro, okay? This will, be a mi this, will, this will go micro right here, okay? So what I did is I just created a simple, a simple document here in Google Docs, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. You guys can, can you know, take it and just kind of massage it to whatever your lifestyle is, but it, it has a lot of different categories, okay? So if you have children, your activities for kids, okay, you're gonna, and it's very, very simple to understand, okay, so your ideal lifestyle, you have your monthly, estimated monthly, estimated annual, okay, so if we start typing numbers here, okay, let's say I'm gonna put 100 bucks, you know, 400 bucks, you see the number kinda changes, so it already cal 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 calculates that particular, um, you know, sum total for the monthly for you, and then what you do is just take that times 12, you know, you're gonna put that here, 1200, you know, whatever that comes up to be, you know, you know what I mean? Um, and so that cal calculates your annual, okay? And so that's gonna do that for all of these different categories, you know, activities, medical, childcare. I mean, there are a lot of these might not even be relevant for many of you. School, toys, okay, just really go micro on this, okay? Then if you got debt, if you're gonna put cre credit cards, if you wanna allocate specific amount towards paying off your credit cards, if you have student loans, okay, how much you're gonna allocate towards paying that off in your ideal uh, lifestyle? If you know, if you got taxes that you gotta pay, uh, education, tuition, books, music lessons for your kids. Like I've got, you know, my boys are in, in school for different musical instruments and whatnot, right? So there is a little bit, not a lot, but you know, a little bit of extra expenses there, or investments, I should say, right? It's never expense; it's always an investment. Um, your entertainment, right? Books, concerts, shows, and you can see all these different, uh, you know, different categories that. Just really give yourself some time to think about it, and you're gonna come up with a, a definite, down to a dollar number, okay? To the best of your estimations, okay? Um, TV, I would cut it out, man. I would not focus too much on TV, <laughs> to be honest with you, but if you wanna add some more stuff in there. Then you got your everyday. That's your, that's your uh, you know, healthy eating, right? That's your organic groceries, your restaurants, your personal supplies, your clothes, do you wanna buy you know, uh, you know, designer stuff. Do you want to, you know, like whatever your take, laundry, I mean, hair, beauty, or subscriptions, that's your everyday, okay, category here. And you can add more stuff. So it will give you um, gifts, donations, okay, medical right here, home, rent, mortgage, taxes, furnishings, okay, lawn garden. You want to have somebody mowing your lawn. 
taking care of your landscaping, that kind of stuff, right? Maintenance, improvements, moving, you know, if you're going to do that kind of stuff. So you can really, really take this uh, and fill it up for yourself, and you will have a very, very clear picture, okay, if you've got pets, some of that stuff there. Um, this category, actually, we can go ahead and take it out. Hold on. We don't need that. That's technology because that's not, um, let me remove that, okay? We don't need, hang on. Okay, we don't need that because that's going to be our, our business operations. Okay, we're talking about just our um, lifestyle. Okay, business is going to be different. Your travel, utilities, okay, and, uh, and so forth. Okay, so this right here, this sheet, how many of you guys would like to have this? Yes? Yes? Okay, so what I'll do is give me one second and come back to me here real quick. So what I'll do is I'm going to take that, hang on, I'm going to share it with you all, okay, and I'm going to pop it over here, ideal life, style, KYN, know your number, worksheet, boom, all right. So take a look at the top here, at the, at, the com at the chat. Okay, you see that in yellow? Let me come back and share the screen real quick. Okay, right here. So what you guys can do is you can click on it right here. It's a Google Doc. I just shared it with you. Okay, and um, that will be a good, you can print it out if you want to. You can, you know, you can use it as a reference. You know, hope it helps you guys. Okay, and, and just really take the time. You know, take the time to really identify. Uh, that's your KYN. Okay, know your number. See it? Okay, so come back to me. Okay, that's going to be really, really important. If you don't have that, nothing that you do as an entrepreneur will matter in the long term. Nothing will matter. You will go up and down, up and down. You'll, you'll get fired up for the day. You will always chase another opportunity, another thing. You will never have stability, okay? Because you're running, it's like, it's like playing a basketball with no hoops. You know, it's like playing volleyball with no net. It's like... Uh, or, or, or it's like playing soccer without keeping score. It's like, who cares, dude? It's not, you know, you might get, a, you know, you might get into the game for, you know, for a little bit, and then, and then you'll be like, dude, whatever, this doesn't, you know. There, there, is no, there is no reward, okay? So get very clear on this. Take that sheet, you know, work it, and then next episode of the 4% Entrepreneur Show, we're going to talk about that. Okay, we're gonna talk. We're gonna we're gonna break down because everything else that we're gonna do, we're gonna stem back from that number. Okay, I want to reverse engineer my marketing, my setup, and how do you do that? Okay, how do you do that? How do you come up with a strategy that will get you one hundred eighteen thousand dollars a month in your bank account every single month? You doing whatever you love to do as an entrepreneur online, even if you're just getting started, do you believe that it's possible for you? Most people will say no. And the reason you don't believe is because you got conditioned into a particular environment. So what we need to do is we need to change your belief system. Because you'll never have that if you don't believe that you will have that, right? You'll never have it. How do you change your belief is you change your paradigm. What's a paradigm? Paradigm is a multitude of habits and you know, and, and your conditioning uh, molds you into a particular mentality, into a particular way of thinking, your environment, right? It's like that mold, right? Um, and so you're just growing up to be, in, you know, part of that environment, and that's, how, that's just who you are. That's how you think, that's how you respond, that's how you view the world. It's almost like having a lens through which you view the rest of the world, what you can and cannot do. When you, when, you, when you see an opportunity, when you see the possibility and you know, some other people are doing it, you immediately dismiss yourself. We're going to stop all that, okay? We're going to stop all that once for good. Okay, Phyllis says, I believe now that I'm a 4%er. You guys, this is the difference between the 96% and the 4%, I'm telling you, okay? How many of you guys have learned a thing or two today about a thing or two? How many of you guys think this, has been, this is going to help you in your life, in your business, okay? Ha, ha, ha. 
Ernest, you're welcome. Okay. Okay, so, so here's the thing. There's going to be a couple traps that you will, you, you got to be careful about, okay, that you, so you don't fall into. Trap number one is it's not for me mentality. Ah, somebody else can do it. I just can't see myself doing it, okay? <clears throat> it's a, um, it, it just a, it's just a conditioning, okay? So what we need to do just as hard as we work on our marketing plan, right, business structures and operations and actions and all that stuff, just as hard, if not harder, you got to work on yourself because your income follows your self, uh, your self image. Okay? If you see yourself as a failure, if you see yourself as a you know, 5,000 at most a month producer, that's who you're going to be. I don't care what you do. I don't care how, much, how many courses you buy. Okay? But I'll tell you this. If, even if you're a complete beginner, you can get yourself, whatever your number is, to live your ideal lifestyle predictably, just like that, every single month. Okay, just like that, you can do it. So, um, yeah, this is clear. Yvonne Adams says, "Okay, I do, I do about really know an emotional." Da, 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 da. Fired up. Okay, awesome, Cameron. Thanks, Vic. Another awesome training session. Okay, great. If you guys like this, help us spread the word. Share this with people that you care about. Share it with your with your loved ones. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm putting out these trainings for free. Obviously, there is no, you know. So it's just, just you know, stuff I learned and implemented in my life. It really, really impacted my business and my life. Um, impacted a lot of other people that I, that I taught it to. Um, we are going to wrap this uh, particular series, you know, on Money Machine with the next episode. And I'm going to talk to you about ways that you can deploy to have your, your money coming in, your top line so that the rest gets taken care of by default, okay? You don't have to work hard for it. You just work, you gotta be smart positioning. Um, and um, like I said, ultimately you want this category to grow into a category in of itself. You want this money to pick up and this money to make you that money, okay? So you wanna create a machine. So you wanna, you wanna create a, a system that feeds itself, okay? A, a financial system that feeds itself. This is income producing activity or property, right? Maybe multi-unit investments in real estate and things like that, right? This is diversifying your assets so that, you know, you're set and you can literally set yourself up for life. But you never ever get that unless you follow the plan in the first place, okay? So if you follow me, I'm gonna change your life, man, because somebody changed my life, you know? I'm just gonna share it with you. So here's the thing. Next, uh, se next session, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to talk about marketing plan, marketing strategies. How do you actually get the money, right? Don't miss it. It'll be next, uh, next episode, you know, it'll be Tuesday. Um, if you're watching this as a, you know, as a replay after the fact, if you're getting value from it, be sure to tune in and watch the, the, the third um, part, the, the, the final finale piece of, the, of this particular um, topic, okay? Um, we do have, for those of you guys who want to take, just really master, um, marketing structures you really want to like get yourself on a solid path and learn how do you do this if you don't have a product if you have never made money if you don't have any if you don't have credentials if you don't have a lot of knowledge about a lot of things right if you're just getting started how do you win you win through affiliate marketing okay affiliate marketing this is where you can sell other people's programs this is where you can sell uh, uh, other companies' programs that are in high demand in booming industries, right? Align yourself with companies strategically, sell their products in a very strategic, very specific way that opens up floodgates of, you know, revenue for you, selling other people's stuff. At the same time, as you're doing that, you're, this, you're building your business. Like this becomes, you never ever, even though you're, you're selling other people's products, you never depend on other people. You create your own environment, you create your own blue ocean that you fish in. Make sense? And so that's the program that we have, it's called the 4% Challenge. Uh, if you guys are watching it after the fact, I highly, highly recommend, it's, it's gonna change your life, okay? If you wanna master affiliate marketing, everything I'm talking about, okay? Your paradigm, goals, creating that, getting clarity and having a specific path that you can just like walk and, and follow specifically as it relates to promoting affiliate marketing stuff. Okay, how do you do that? It's called the 4% challenge. Make sure that you're in, in it uh, and uh, it's gonna change, it's, it's gonna, it will completely, 
completely revolutionize your life. Guarantee. Guarantee that. Those results are typical. Okay. All right. So uh, with that said, everybody, thank you for tuning in. You know, that's a lot to think about, a lot to do for you. Uh, go ahead and, uh, and ponder on it. You know, hopefully this uh, helps you out. Uh, you know, if you have an ability to, to click share or spread the word, I would appreciate it if you guys can help us, you know, spread the, the vision of the 4% and, you know, help us uh, reach more people. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you don't yet have an account with 4%, create yourself an account with 4%. Take a look at what we do inside. Um, you'll be the first, ones, uh, first one to get invited into the 4% challenge. Uh, and go to that program. And uh, regardless, thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps you. God bless. See ya.